Hello, my name is Mario. Welcome to another software architecture video. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing the five books I think you should be reading if you want to become a software architect. Let's start with the fundamentals. And by that, I mean fundamentals of software architecture and engineering approach. A book written by Mark Richards and Neil Ford. I think this book is the definitive introduction to software architecture. It's a bit high level, but it covers everything from expectations as a software architect, how to think as one, how to evaluate trade-offs and modularity, how to determine non-functional requirements, how to measure dependencies, and it describes multiple different architecture styles, such as microservices, event-based, service-based, and more. I like this book as well because it covers soft skills, such as leadership, key skills required when working as an architect. It also teaches you how to present your architecture, which will depend on the audience how to record decisions made, and how to measure risk. In conclusion, if you want to become a software architect, you must read this book first. Next, we have Building Evolutionary Architectures, written by Neil Ford, Rebecca Parson, and Patrick Kua. There are two editions of this book. The one I just show you was published in November 2017. However, there is a recent one, the second edition, published last year in December 2022, both are published by O'Reilly. I recommend you to get the second edition because it's the most recent one and has a few extra editions. This book introduces the concept of evolutionary architectures, which in short means building architectures that are flexible and easy to update without too much hassle. It doesn't teach a concrete architecture style, but rather focuses on measuring the illities or non-functional requirements, which are those attributes that indicate how a system should be. The authors introduce a concept called fitness functions, which are measurable architectural characteristics. Think measuring latency or deployment progress. For example, measuring the speed of your current deployment process can indicate how fast or slow you can deploy code to production. The next one is Building Microservices by Sam Newman. The edition I have here is the first one published in 2015 by O'Reilly. There is a recent one, the second edition, published in September 2021. This book is specific to the microservices architecture style. It is a quick read that covers practically all the aspects related to microservices and works well as an introduction to this type of architecture. It's mostly theoretical with few mentions of tools here and there, but the content is organized nicely. It covers testing, deployment, security, monitoring, and scalability, providing pros and cons for each topic. It is a good reading and definitely a go-to microservice reference. Next, we have Software Architecture, The Hard Parts, Modern Trade-Off Analysis for Distributed Architectures, written by Neil Ford, Mark Richards, Pramod Saladaj, and Zamad Degani. This book was published in November 2021 by O'Reilly and focuses more on the decisions we have to make and the trade-offs we have to consider when building software architectures. It is definitely an extension of fundamentals of software architecture and touches concepts that were covered in building evolutionary architecture, such as fitness functions, covers cohesion and coupling, modularity and decomposition, and much more, including concrete examples of the topics covered. It is a must read for sure. Last but not least, we have designing data intensive applications, the big ideas behind reliable, scalable, and maintainable systems. This book is heavy, and not because of the weight. This book is definitely a heavy hitter. However, be aware, it is a big academic and you might find it dry and hard to read from time to time. But I assure you, if you take the time to read everything, you're going to learn a lot of topics. I think this book could be used as a main reference for distributed systems where concepts and theory are introduced first and then the actual implementation with real-life examples is presented. It even compares similar technologies. However, it's not for beginners. You need a bit of experience, otherwise you won't get the best of it. Designing data-intensive applications complements all the other books I presented before. And that's it. I know there are many more books about software architecture. But I like these five because they give you a clear path to understand everything from the beginning to the end. As usual, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will talk to you next time. Take care, stay safe, keep it up, and never give up. See you.